Hello everyone, in this video we'll give a quick rundown of how to install the one gauge system. Installation is typically very simple and anyone who changes their own oil can probably handle it. First a few safety precautions. Before beginning to work with anything electrical in your vehicle, always disconnect your battery. Chalk the vehicle's wheels or engage the parking brake to ensure that the vehicle doesn't move. We also recommend having a fire extinguisher nearby at all times, including when driving the vehicle. Now on to installation. This is the one gauge hub. It includes screw terminals that are used to install the wiring for each sensor. When installing, make sure that the wire is fully inserted into the terminal. An easy installation upgrade is available on the one gauge website that makes installation easier by providing an OBD style plug for all sensor wiring and external terminals for power and ground connections, as well as allowing the unit to be better sealed for moisture resistance. The standard hub box measures approximately 7 inches long, 5 inches wide, and 3 inches tall, though custom sized boxes are available upon request. Once you've found a location for your hub, it's time to start on sensor installation. First, threaded temperature sensors, such as coolant or transmission temperature sensors, install by screwing the sensor into the given port. Make sure all wiring is disconnected so it doesn't get twisted. Port adapters may be needed to ensure that the sensor's threads are the appropriate size. For information on sensor sizes, check the sensors page at theonegauge.com. Air temperature sensors can be installed in any way that's convenient as long as the sensor isn't damaged in the process. Pressure sensors install the same way as threaded temperature sensors. T's can be used to add locations for pressure sensor installation. The manifold vacuum boost sensor is located on the outside of the one gauge hub. To provide vacuum to the unit, run a rubber vacuum hose from a manifold port to the sensor on the hub. The fuel level sensor reads the resistance provided by your tank sender. You will need to find the wire that provides voltage from your factory instrument cluster. Cut this wire and run this wire to the one gauge hub. Fuel sensors, both fuel pressure and fuel flow and temperature, are installed by cutting the fuel hose at a selected point and installing the sensors in line with the fuel pump. Please take all proper precautions when working with fuel and, as recommended earlier, always have a fire extinguisher handy. The tachometer or RPM sensor comes mounted to the outside of the one gauge hub and can be relocated if needed. All you'll need to do is run a wire from your tachometer signal to the tachometer sensor input terminal. The location of the tachometer signal is different on every vehicle, so if you need help, feel free to reach out to us. The last thing to do is run power to the one gauge hub itself. Double and triple check all connections to make sure they are secure and correct. We always recommend adding a fuse to your power wire to prevent a fire if a short were to occur. To power the unit, simply use the provided wires to connect the unit to the positive and negative terminals of your battery. You will likely need to install custom terminal rings. After powering the unit on, you can start to set up your display. At this point, you can secure the unit to the vehicle in whatever way works best for you. Never work on the unit or connect or disconnect wiring with the hub powered on. Setting up your display is also very easy. Before using any app, add the device's Bluetooth connection in your phone settings. Once this is done, open up your selected app, navigate to your settings, and select the appropriate connection. For OBD users, you may need to add custom PIDs for non-standard sensors. If you've opted to use LCD screens, the screens will power on whenever the one gauge hub is turned on. That's it. For any help or troubleshooting, feel free to reach out to us through the contact information found on our website, theonegauge.com. Thanks for watching.